It's now time for the Reverse Sports Full Game Recap. We go all the way back to May 12th of the year 2023 when the Milwaukee Admirals were hosting the Texas Stars in Game 1 of the Central Division Best of 5 Playoff Series in the Calder Cup Playoffs. Carl Taylor uses his line participants in the following ways. Your left-wingers for the game are Schneider, Afanasev, Evangelista, and Rushev. Your centers are Sanford, Jankowski, Huntington, and McCarran on the right wing, Tomasino, Sherwood, Kemmel, and Angelo. The defensemen for this this game and participating are going to be Gross McEwen, Del Gaiso Stastny, Willsby, and Thompson, and of course Yaroslav Askarov gets the start in net for the sixth consecutive game in these playoffs. We are just 16 seconds into this brand new series and game one, and it is Murray coming up with a save on Del Gaiso. It's the first shot on goal, not only of the game, but of the series. It's 3-0-2 now into the first period, and it's Murray coming up with a save on Gross with McCarron following up the play. At 4-0-1 of the first period, it's Willsby off the box. Two minutes for delay of game, so we've got our first penalty of the series. Askarov comes up with a save on Bork. It's his first touch of the game. Now everybody is into the game. Askarov will come up with another save on Bork on the weak side. One timer, and Bork has one heck of a shot coming over there from Ovechkin's offset. at 6-30 after the power play exit. Expired. It would be Gardner scoring for Texas. The first goal of the series gives the Stars a 1-0 lead. It was Gardner's third goal of the playoffs. It was a wrist shot off of the rush from the right-hand side. Looked like it might have ski-ramped off of the defenseman's stick just a little bit. But it makes no difference. It's in the back of the net. It's the first goal of the series. Texas holds a 1-0 lead. 6-30 into the first period. 8-26 into the first period. Murray comes up with a save on Evangelista from the left circle. 8-57 of the first period. Murray comes up with a save on Willsby through some heavy traffic. 12-09 in the first. Murray comes up with a save on Schneider plus the follow-up rebound opportunity. 12-55. Murray another save on Sanford. This time also at close range. 15-59 of the first period. It's going to be Butcher going off to the box. Two minutes for Hookie and giving the Milwaukee Admirals their first power play opportunity of this game and it's going to be Luke Evangelista cashing in with his third goal of the playoffs it was a heavy shot from the slot over the glove Sherwood with the feed off of the wall slick heavy pass even slicker heavier shot puts Milwaukee on the board with their first goal of the series tying the game up at one apiece 1708 of the first period Scarf comes up with a save on Petrovic 1821 Scarf another save on Shea we hit the intermission Milwaukee out shooting Texas 16 to 11 after the first 20 minutes of the series we roll into a clean sheet and we go 102 into the second period Scarf is coming up with a save on Butcher at 422 of the second period still guys off to the box two minutes for tripping a comes up with a save on Bork a then comes up with another save on Reedy really good scoring chances there for the Texas Stars in some close range scenarios 645 into the second period it's Murray coming up with a save on McEwen from the low slot the first shot on goal for Milwaukee in the second period comes at the 645 mark of the second period. 653 is Garoff back to work with a save on Corot. A large scrum after the whistle right here. And that's going to lead to tough day off to the box. Two minutes for roughing. Looked like we were going to have matching minors, but it is Milwaukee coming out of this with the power play opportunity. It's Murray coming up with a big save on Sherwood. And uh, thankfully for the Stars, uh, the Admirals, uh, uncharacteristic. A very sloppy power play. Uh, drop passes to nowhere. Passes that could not connect out near the blue line and and just not quite the admirals clicking on the power play the way we have seen them so far well honestly through the entire regular season and through the first round so a sloppy power play by admiral standards no doubt 9 10 into the second period scarf comes up with a save on studenick and then at 11 one scarf comes up with a save on gleason this time at very very close range kind of an awkward save but he got the job done 13 7 in the second period murray comes up with a save on gross 16 13 a scarf back to work with a save on kiro 18 19 a scarf a save on on the back covers in the blue paint and he absolutely held on to this one being pushed being poked being jammed being prodded into the net uh, the whistle had long since blown but uh, still they were trying to jam away at it right here Askarov holds the line 1938 of the second period Murray comes up with one more save on Rushev off of the rush at least giving the Admirals a little something there at the end of the period as we were seeing the Texas Stars make a little bit of a push the end of the second period the shots on goal now are evened up at 21 apiece so the Admirals only able to generate five shots on goal in the second period while the Texas Stars are able to generate 10 shots on goal and certainly seem to have more of the pressure. 
We are now into the third period after a awkward feeling out couple of minutes and the teams seeming just a bit timid, not wanting to make that first mistake. We see Shea do make that first mistake for Texas. He's off to the box two minutes for tripping, but then Gardner makes the second mistake and he's going to be off to the box two minutes for tri slashing just 15 seconds later, creating a five on three for potentially as long as one minute and 45 seconds. The Admirals with the number one overall power play in the regular season and also one of the best power plays in the first round of this Calder Cup playoffs. In this five-on-three scenario, it is going to be Kemmel setting up over there in Ovechkin's office. He's got the one-timer from the dot on the second opportunity. He cashes in with his second goal of the playoffs, and that's going to give Milwaukee a two-to-one lead here in the third period, but after that five-on-three power play goal, you would have a continuation of a five-on-four power play for another 44 seconds, and the continuation would not be of scoring, but it would be of pressure, and the zone time and the pressure allowed Milwaukee to not only gain the lead over the course of this special teams setup, but also gain momentum carrying on well past that. And their play would seem inspired, seem they kicked up to another level after this power play. 638 of the third period. It's Murray coming up with a save on McCarron with often a save. Rebound jam attempt in close. Angelo at 750 in the third period. Off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. The PK, which is been outstanding this entire playoffs, is going to be tested. They are going to pass the that test with flying colors just an incredible pk zone denials not giving up a single shot on goal it was just great work by the milwaukee admirals on this penalty kill 957 of the third period scarf comes with the save on blue mill it's the first shot on goal for texas in the third period they had a power play and it's taken them almost 10 minutes and now they're getting just their first shot on goal when they're down by a goal in the third period 1018 as scarf comes up with a save on caro you knew it wouldn't be the end 1255 as scarf comes up with a save on Damiani as 1351 as Garf comes with a save on Tuft at close range. We flip over to the back of the sheet and find a 1530 of the third period. It's Murray coming up with a save on Gross as the Admirals push back briefly here in the third period. 1539 out of the third. It's Murray coming with a save on Jankowski. And I had to make the notation because there it wasn't high event hockey at this point or for the rest of the game, but the Admirals are just playing great period out there they're controlling and competing everywhere on the ice in all three zones blue line denials and smart hockey and yes it, they made mistakes so it was not perfect hockey but damn that was close to being a perfect period very close to being a perfect period uh, just a couple of turnovers and a couple of bad passes away from it truly being a perfect perfect period texas Good six on five pressure, but not until the final 30 seconds. They had trouble getting the goaltender Murray out of the net at the time that they wanted to get him out of the net. On the second opportunity, when they finally do get him out of the net, only about 30 seconds worth of good zone time and pressure, but none of it really gets through to the net. As the Milwaukee Admirals continue to hold strong, and they finish this game out with a two to one victory over the Texas Stars, who won the Central Division by three points over these Milwaukee Admirals. But now the Admirals hold the 1 0 lead in this best of five series, out shooting Texas. 33 to 27 in this game. So that means the Admirals only gave up six shots on goal, six total shots on goal in the third period. And that includes being shorthanded for two full minutes. And that also includes the six on five scenario there at the end of the game with the empty net. So the Milwaukee Admirals put together a masterpiece of a third period. It was a full team effort there in the third to secure the one goal victory for the Milwaukee Admirals, giving them a one game lead in the best of five series. It's the first time the Texas Stars have taken a punch in these playoffs, sweeping Rockford before this, the first time they have suffered defeat. I expect they are going to respond and escalate coming up in game two. We've got a whole lot more to talk about. That was just the Rebirth Sports full game recap. We are just getting started right here. We've got full analysis coming up after the break. We've also got the Renegades of Puck, the box score. Ryan Baston is in the trenches with us. And we're going to talk about UC Stars before we close out because the Vezina nominations for the NHL came out and while we are focusing almost exclusively on Milwaukee Admirals AHL Calder Cup coverage right now we are going to divert about three percent of that to UC Soros because I have to address the fact that UC Soros got screwed uh, for the Vezina nomination being a Vezina finalist in the NHL well, we'll talk about that uh, after the break and we'll probably talk about that really towards the end of the show so we don't distract and divert anymore from game one and game two preview coming up so let's take that first break and let's get back and let's talk about everything that happened in this game and we'll preview everything that's going to happen in game two 